Grafton, Wisconsin from Mississippi and recorded some of the most serious country blues ever recorded. And uh, so somehow it's played a lot of gigs, I guess, in the, in the mid 1930s. And things started to dry up towards the end of the Depression. And he uh, went to work for the railroad. He was a Pullman porter and uh, retired up to Rochester, New York. And his sister lived in, uh, like I said, in the early 60s, these uh, blues fanatics were trying to find the, the old players. And, uh, a guy named Dick Warren, a phenomenal guy, a real blues aficionado, tracked Sunhouse down to Rochester. And, approached him and said, so, I can put you back on the road again, you can make money playing concerts, and somehow I said, man, I've forgotten all my songs, I haven't played in 20, more than 20 years, forget about it. I took more than it was about to hear that. <laughs> was a 16-year-old guitar player in Boston, Al Wilson, mm -hmm. who went on to form Candy. Al had like 10,000, uh, 78s, had all of Sunhouse's recordings. And so Dick Waterman put Sunhouse together with Al Wilson and told him all his own songs. <laughs> <laughs> and sure enough, he went back on the road and made a lot of money, recorded it in, and everything. I got to be on a bunch of shows with Sunhouse. <laughs> So I'll do this last tune as somehow special and uh, thank you again. Yeah.